Thank you for joining us this evening. A big day for a central Iowa community still reeling from a destructive tornado. The Winterset Huskies taking to Wells Fargo Arena Court in downtown Des Moines for Boys State Basketball. We have live team coverage of this. Local 5's Larissa Leone is live with how fans are showing their outpouring of support. But let's send it over first to Colin Cahill uh, with the highlights. Colin. Yeah, it's uh, the semifinal round today here at Wells Fargo Arena. And of course, it's the Cinderella story in the winter set Husky basketball team as they were looking to continue its run towards a state title. The magical run had to go through one of the top teams in the state as the Huskies took on DCG. The Huskies, though, they came out on fire. Levi Gerwell with the steal, and he's got the tough finish at the basket. Give him the end one as well. Later, it's Gerwell again, gets the kick out and buries the three ball. The Mustangs, though, they weathered the storm early on. Tyler Bailiff on the drive. He's going to drop it off for Trevor Hamill, who finishes at the basket. Gerwell had himself a first half, though. Snakes to the bucket for two. So back and forth first half, but second half was a different story. The Mustangs started knocking down shots. Jackson Jones with the three. When they didn't hit the shot, they got the rebounds. Bo Houston with the easy bucket. DCG rolls in the second half, and they are headed to their first state title game in program history. The Huskies' magical run ends in the semifinals. I feel like we were able to be a rock for the community, a bright spot. Um, and I'm thankful for everybody that uh, came here to support us. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of teams, players, coaches who'd love to be in our shoes, you know, playing in the state semifinal. Um, and so, you know, it's, it stings now, and, uh, you know, because this isn't where we wanted it to end. But, uh, but as we you know, look back, you know, even a week from now, a month from now, 10 years from now, we'll be, we'll be really thankful. We won't remember this game, but uh, we'll remember that trophy and the trophy case and just uh, you know, everything that our community went through to leading up to this point. And the season comes to an end for this team, but they gave this town something to cheer for and focus on for the past 48 hours, something that this town surely needed.